Okay, check this out really quick. Do you see those four sticks right there? These ones, these four long sticks. That right there is called RAM. And it's also the reason why you won't be able to build a gaming PC in 2026. So let's talk about it. Now, why is RAM the reason you won't be able to build a PC in 2026? Well, I think it'll be easier if I just show you. Now, this right here is a single stick of 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM. And this is coming in at 289 Australian dollars. And for around the same price point, you can actually afford to buy this Hisense 40 inch TV. You could also buy a Nintendo Switch Lite or even a set of Sony XM4s. Now 16 gigs of RAM is gonna be great if you're just gaming on your PC, but heaven forbid you wanna do multitasking or editing or anything like that, you're really looking at 32 gigs of RAM. And 32 gigs of RAM is expensive. This twin 16 gig kit making 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM from Corsair comes in at 599 Australian dollars. For that similar money you could buy a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PS5 Slim, disc version. This one even comes with a Fortnite bundle. I mean, that's just Fortnite is cool, right? Or this Ninja Lux Cafe Espresso machine. And if you really wanted, instead of all of that, you could even just give me the money. Now you might be thinking to yourself that in the past, RAM wasn't this expensive. Why is RAM getting to the point where it's almost unattainable to buy any? Well, I'm so glad you asked. In the last few years, AI data centers have become booming in popularity. Now, the reason for this super high pricing of DDR5 RAM is because one of the biggest manufacturers of RAM, Micron, has decided to exit the consumer market and instead focus solely on AI data centers. Over the last few years, AI has become massive and has boomed in popularity. And as we tend to lean on AI more and more, as each day goes on, these AI data centers need more resources, one of them being RAM. And when there's less supply and more demand, this happens. Absorbent pricing for things that used to be somewhat accessible. Thanks to PC Part Picker, they have shown us just the egregious price increase of DDR5 RAM over the past few months. Your 32 gigabyte RAM kits that used to cost anywhere between 150 to 200 Australian dollars now ranges closer to 600 Australian dollars for that same RAM kit. The supply has tripled in price for what is the same product. And at this point, there's no slowing down in sight. It's hard to say if or when it will come down. Now, at this point in time with the egregious pricings, if you are looking to get into a PC, you gotta ask yourself why you're doing it. If it's just strictly for gaming, is that need something that can be achieved by having a PlayStation or an Xbox or a Switch or a portable PC like the Lenovo Legion Go or the Steam Deck or an ROG Ally. But if you are set on getting a gaming PC, which you're well within your right to do, it might be worth checking out some pre-built options that are on sale. You actually might find that they work out better value than building your own PC at the moment. If I was to configure a mid-range PC on PC Part Picker with an Intel Core i5 with 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and an RTX 5060 Ti, I'm looking closer to $2,300 Australian. Or at the moment, there is an Asus TUF T500 gaming computer with an Intel Core i7, an RTX 5060, 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD going for $2,024. 300 Australian dollars difference saved. And that's money that can be put towards monitor, peripherals, or whatever else you need for your gaming setup. So without that being said to everyone in the PC master race, it's looking bleak. It's not the way we want to start 2026, but we've just got to get a bit more creative, but we're going to get through it. And if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to leave a like, share with your friends and subscribe because we're trying to build out this channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.